Howard Stern Show. I was uh, surprised to read Bill Cosby is the guy who inspired you to follow your dream. That's right. Uh, is your dream drugging yeah, women? Yeah, what do you do when uh, <laughs> nobody's watching? Yeah, what is your dream? Yeah, man, that's so It is weird, up. isn't it? It it's is so very fucked, up. fucked up. You don't it's... want to uh, believe it, right? No, I didn't for a long time, and there is some weird formula there to ask yourself about. Is like how many women does it take? <laughs> yeah. We've been well, having like, that. It's discussion. like how many yeah. licks to get to the center of the tootsie roll. <laughs> By the way, so I want to go. Nah, he did not. Nah, come on. Well, but I don't know. Hey, look, wh- who knows? I mean, I don't know. I wasn't. Uh, okay, all right. That's getting a little yeah. much. There's only three women left. <laughs> well, you're like, holy fuck. There's only three women left that haven't had yeah, a story. Every with woman on the planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, I know. At some point, you got to believe it. But you know, I do want to congratulate him. Last two weeks, Ooh. not one woman has. Come forward. It's pretty amazing. It's, it's pretty like a weather amazing. report now. Like it's like a dew, d- a dew point thing or humidity. Well, how many, how many funny season women? is over. Hurricane season is over. It's funny so. to me. I admire you so much as a comedian, and yet Bill Cosby. I'm, I'm, forget the scandal. Yeah. I, I just never found him that funny. I never got him. I loved him when I was a kid. Did I you? loved him, and I still, you know, I saw him in Montreal a few years ago do a concert, and I was blown away. It was right. one of the maybe the best live stand-up show I've ever seen. Why and this is was it, just a few years ago. Yeah. Why, year, why is it so great? Like because he's so conversational and so like it's not a, a jokey thing guy. To, yeah, I just love his. He's got like a musical way of like this rhythm and the way he tells stories and lays them out. It's just really hits for me. He seems right. fearless. In that That's sense. right. Yeah. And he just, I listened to his albums when I was a kid, so it was like a listening thing. Right. You know, I listen, and he has a huge catalog of albums, and I listened to all of them. Have you ever and met him? I never met him. Wow. wow. Never met Bill. Met and, yeah, and I wanted to. I went to see him. When I saw him in Montreal, me and my friend Vernon, we watched him from the back of the room, and then we ran to, but he's, his plane was already in the air by the yeah, time right. he got off stage. And he, he doesn't was mentor men. Blown by a dead woman or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, right. he doesn't mentor <laughs> yeah. men from what I understand. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he's no. like, uh, I'd have a drink with you, but I'm not yeah, going to waste my, exactly. my drinks on you. Yeah, it's a really weird thing, because now it's like, what do you say about him now? His comedy is what it was. It was still in it. He was still the influence that he was, but it's erased now. Yeah. Like if there's ever any montages of American television, he ain't, we're all going to pretend he didn't do these things anymore. Right? Yeah, it's it's painful. Can you still enjoy his comedy? You think? It's hard to. Yeah. I got to be honest with you. It's hard to. And and I don't I don't know how to feel about all of it. It's a really complicated thing. I for me, I think everybody had some point where they went, okay, fuck, I can't do this now. It taints everything. Now for me, it was I saw an interview with a woman who was a writer. She was a comedy writer. Uh huh. And I identify with that. I she's a she was a normal looking, average looking comedy writer who got caught up in this thing. And watching her, because I got her, because to me, she's like somebody, I'm like her. Right. And also, I've been like a kind of ha- half-homely, normal guy amongst stars. Right. That's what being a comedy writer is. And you write, you know, right, for Cedric was this huge star, you know, Conan, Chris. Yeah. And then, so when I saw her tell her story, I'm like, oh, fuck, he did all of it. Now I know he did all of it, because I believe her so much, you right. know. Right. And after that, yeah, it's really hard to. Uh, yeah, that was the that was the icing on the cake when you heard we that. Yeah, but we all about who we, are the people yeah. coming to see him? You know, yeah. what are they thinking? You should do the, the people garden. Are coming to see him now. Yeah, you well, should do the, you should going. do the garden with him just to see who's who shows up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried to hire him once. I did a show in Chicago at the. Um, the Chicago theater is this beautiful theater in Chicago, and they asked me to do it as part of a comedy festival, and I right. had just been there, so they said, "Well, you could be." 